Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Obsidian. In this video, I'll show you how you can take notes while you are reading on the web with Obsidian. Not only Obsidian, but you can replicate this method with any other apps too, but I prefer Obsidian and I will show you my process of taking notes uh, while I'm reading articles or blog posts on the web. Note taking is an important part of our learning process. If we don't take notes while we are learning new things or consuming new ideas and information, chances are that we'll forget almost everything of what we have learned. Therefore, you have to take notes to make sure that you take the most advantage of your time and energy you have spent on consuming new information. Different formats of information require a different note taking approach. If you are consuming information through videos, then you will need to take a different approach than if you are consuming through a book. Podcasts, blogs and articles all need to be approached differently. Therefore, in this video, I'm going to show you my method, my personal method of taking notes while reading on the web with Obsidian. This method can be used for taking notes from blogs, articles and even YouTube videos if you uh, are using ta transcript along with watching videos. So let's begin our tutorial. The first thing I'm going to show you is the tool that we'll be using for this method and that is called Eloquent uh, Capture and Highlight. Okay, uh, That will be available on Chrome Web Store and you can download it from there. I will also provide the link in the description for, so that it becomes easy for you to uh, use this ex extension Eloquent. This is the web address eloquent.works, capture and connect information to your second brain. Uh, this was uh, previously made to work with Chrome Research, but uh, this can be used with any other application also. This has a sync feature uh, with Chrome Research, I guess, uh, but we'll have to manually copy and paste in case of other applications. So here is this eloquent extension and click on join beta and it will take you to the Chrome, Chrome Web Store. It has been in the beta for a long time. I think it has been abandoned or what, but it's a very good plugin for uh, capturing and highlighting information. So I'll click on add to Brave here and it has 10 uh, reviews with five stars from all of them and 5,000 plus users. Now, once we have added this eloquent Chrome extension to our browser, then it will ask you to log in, put your email address here and check your email ID and it will send, send you a login link. So I'll click on sign into Eloquent here. Now I'm signed into Eloquent. Okay, let's pin our this Eloquent Chrome extension to our browser extension window, extension tab here. And if we click on this extension, it will pop up a new window here. You see here. And if you click on this what icon, uh, you will see different help features. Uh, there are different shortcuts that are available. You can choose. And this is the floating window section. You can just float this window around. Now let's go to a web page where we will be taking notes. Uh, let's go to medium.com and find the article that we are interested in. Okay, so here is an article by Ryan Holiday. So I click on it. And now if I want to take notes on this particular blog post or article, then what I will need to do is, you can use this on any web page. So what you need to do is click on this extension icon here and it will open a pop-up window. Now you can either po uh, write down your thoughts here, thoughts here or you can just highlight the text or highlight uh, the important parts of this article. That you can do by clicking on this icon over here or you can also use Control F command to toggle the highlighter on and off. You see here, Control F toggles the highlighter. Now let's turn on this highlighter and now if I select any of the text here, then it will be copied on this window. Let's use bulleted list here and if we copy like this, now it will be uh, copying all the important parts of this article that I am reading right now. Since you have signed in uh, with this eloquent window, it will not be lost even when you close your window, but uh, this, uh, this highlight that you see on this article will be lost. but these highlights will not be lost this, this will be stored here unless you remove it from here this is how you first highlight the articles or highlight the important part of the articles uh, while you are reading on the web or you can also uh, write your thoughts directly on this uh, pop-up window that comes from clicking on this eloquent icon now after i have taken notes uh, i don't do this after every uh, article i read but uh, when i have gathered a, uh, then i copy this from here and paste it in my obsidian uh, there's a 
a new node folder called eloquent highlights in my obsidian here and i will paste i will be pasting these notes here and once i have uh, those highlights over here i will follow the progressive summarization technique by uh, tiago forte which he mentioned in the book building a second brain here is an example of uh, progressive summarization technique that i have used so progressive summarization technique is a, a technique that helps to increase the usefulness of note and in this technique uh, the first thing we do is highlight the important parts of the article just like we did here and once we have highlighted these important parts of the note or important parts of the article then what we do is we highlight again the important part of this note as you can see here uh, these italicized text are my highlights of the highlights and once we have done that once we have highlighted the highlights we again highlight the highlights of the highlights you see what uh, what's happening there here are different layers of notes that are being prepared or that are being created so at the end what we get is a very fine distillation of our note uh, an article that is 20 minutes long to read or an article that is uh, 10 minutes to read can be distilled to a, a few sentences you see uh, this is an uh, uh, email newsletter this is what i got in my email i first took notes uh, from that i highlighted the important part of that email then i highlighted the highlights uh, using this italicized text then i use this bold feature this is a custom css that i have used uh, the bold text appear as if they are highlighted here and the whole essence of this article is that you have to publicly share what you have learned and if you don't share you have no credibility and without credibility you cannot be valued much so this was the essence of the article so you see here we create different layers of notes and when we look back at this note we can easily find what this note is about but if we don't understand or if we don't find the context we can also see the context from which this note is taken right uh, so we don't have to worry about not understanding what this uh, what this idea is about because we can always go back to the uh, source of this note so this is how i take notes while i'm reading on the web with obsidian first i use eloquent to highlight the uh, important parts of the note and then i use the progressive summarization technique uh, which is which creates uh, different layers of notes and that you can read when you want to and also you can see the context from which the notes are taken. So this is my note taking process uh, while I'm reading on the web with Obsidian and you can replicate this method with almost any other application too but I prefer Obsidian mainly. Thank you for watching this video and if you thank you for watching this video I hope you find this video helpful and if you found this video helpful please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, check out the resources that are linked in the description. Enjoy the day.